When we learned about the earthquake and tsunami in Japan, many uh, of us in the plant science community here at MSU realized that we have colleagues working in Japan. The devastation had really put a halt on the research of many of these laboratories. And we lost uh, during one week everything, our samples and some seeds. He showed us pictures where all the equipment was laying on the ground. The worst thing for us is the power outage. Uh, much of this research they do in the biological sciences depends on storing samples in freezers. So all the freezers had lost power, so they lost a tremendous amount of really valuable resources. The equipment, which they could pick up off the floor and put it back on the bench, they couldn't run it because there's no electricity. Well, uh, we cannot continue the research or experiment in Japan now. It quickly became apparent that there was a great need to find temporary lab space for, for students and postdocs. We put out a call to the plant science labs in Japan, making this offer that we could house on a temporary basis students or postdocs in their lab. We tried to match up the research expertise and interests of the labs in Japan with the labs here on MSU campus. This is the first time to visit MSU. My PI, Dr. Ome Takagi, was postdoc in MSU about 20 years ago. He recommended me to come to MSU. MSU is a very good place to study. After I came here, everyone welcomed me. I'm also happy to work with everyone in this lab. The long-term outlook, I'm sure things will eventually get back to normal, but at least in the short term, they're going to suffer some setbacks, and that was really the impetus for starting this program. Yeah.